No doubt Isabel's going to talk party gate, but I want to talk wages first of all, because this is real. This is awful. This affects people's lives. And more and more, you'll be the same, Isabel, the same. Anybody watching or listening will be the same. You hear of people who are in genuine hardship about this. And, and you as a party are now warning that real wages could fall by two grand um, in, in just two years. I mean, that's wages falling, and that's not even taking into account prices rising. It's all to do with the cost of live, living crisis. Tell me about your, your analysis uh, from the party. Well, people are really struggling because of inflation. The rising cost of living is out outpacing wage growth. You've got more people, or you've got huge numbers of people in low-paid, insecure work. Actually, Boris Johnson will say, work is the best route out of poverty. There's actually about 8 million people in work who are in poverty. So what we're saying is we need action to protect people now with this rising cost of living, to protect people with the bills, the prices going up in the shops. But we also need a plan to get more people into work, more people into quality jobs. So today I'm making a speech where I'm saying I'm a reformer and we need to reform employment support in this country so that all those people who've left the jobs market and there's Employment is about a million lower than the pandemic. We need a plan to get people back into work and raise wages because re people are really struggling to put food on the table at the moment. And it's going to get worse with the energy bills going up e by even more. And this is what Boris Johnson should be focusing on. But of course, he's utterly preoccupied by the, the scandals, the infighting and trying to save his political career over all this partying. So is the leader of your party at the moment. Let's let's not pretend otherwise. I just want to ask you, whilst we're still on the cost of living, and we will come on to Partygate in a minute, I mean, you talk about how to tackle the cost of living crisis and needing a plan. One of Labour's plans is, of course, this windfall tax. But I just want to ask you whether or not you really do think that is the best way out of this. Lots of people saying it's actually not going to get into the pockets of the people who need it the most. And 31 oil and gas companies today saying that we shouldn't be doing a windfall tax either. Well, those um, oil and gas companies have made monumental profits, huge profits, not because of any decision that they've made, not because of any risk they have taken, simply because they've sat there and while the global energy markets has put up the price of energy. So it's literally a windfall for them. So we should tax it fairly and we should use the proceeds of it to help bring bills down. But that's not the only way you bring bills down. Look, when you've got more VAT receipts coming in, you can use some of that money. And of course, Rishi Sunak has put aside £9 billion for his plan, which we don't think will work. So bring all that money together and bring the bills down for £600 for households. But there's other measures you can take as well. So the government have said, for example, that next year, the pension, currently being cut by about £500 in real terms, they're saying next year the pension and benefits are going to go up at a level that captures inflation this year. So they've budgeted for that for next year. Well, if the money is in the, is in the budget for next year, why not bring that forward to now? Because people are really struggling. You've got pensioners sitting on a bus all day.